Hey everyone, my name is Ari from DAT Bootcamp. Today I'm going to show you how to beat the angle ranking section on the DAT. The angle ranking section is a little difficult to master, but it's very easy to learn. I'm going to show you how to beat it today. To start, we're going to go over some of the rules. You have to rank all four of these angles, the interior angles, right, from smallest to largest. To start, we're going to do this example problem. This is a pretty easy problem. You probably won't see this on the DAT. Uh, because the angles are pretty widespread. On the DAT, the angles will probably be separated by somewhere between 4 to 5 degrees each. But to start, we're going to look at either the largest angle or the smallest angle. Let's start with the largest angle. We see that the largest angle is either 4 or 2. Therefore, we, don't we can completely ignore 1 and 3. All we got to compare is 2 and 4. Which one of these is bigger? We can see that 2 is an acute angle and 4 is an obtuse angle, so therefore 4 must be larger. So D must be incorrect. Let's move on to the smallest angle. We see the smallest angle is either 3 or 1. So let's just compare these two angles. Now this one's a little more difficult because they're both acute, but we can see through observation that 3 must be smaller than 1. Therefore C must also be wrong. Now we got to compare A and B. We see that 3 is the smallest angle in both these answers, and 4 is the largest angle in both these answers. So all we have to compare is 1 and 2. Is 1 or 2 larger? So you compare these two answers. This one actually gets a little pretty close, uh, but if you look at it closely, you can see that 1 is smaller than 2. This is going to take pure practice. You can eliminate answer B, and you realize that A must be the correct answer choice. All right, so let's move on to a more advanced example so we can discuss some of the strategies involved. Uh, the first strategy we saw was that you always go directly to the answer choices. On the DAT, you always want to go directly to the answer choices for the perceptual ability section. This is going to allow you to eliminate answer choices rather than finding the correct answer choice. So for example, let's go uh, for this problem too. Let's compare the smallest angle or the largest angle. Let's go with the largest one again. We see that the largest angle is either 4 or 2. So by comparing these two angles, we see that 4 is larger. Therefore, answer choice D must be incorrect. Now let's compare the smallest angle. The smallest angle is either 1 or 2. Comparing only these two angles, we can see that 1 is smaller than 2. Therefore, answer A is incorrect. Now we're left with uh, two answer choices, either 2 or 3. We see that these are actually pretty close. So I'm going to let you guys know a strategy. This is what I use on the DAT. Um, it may help you. It has helped some other people. What I do is I sit back a little further away from the computer screen and I compare the vertices of these two angles. You focus in on this area right here and you quickly glance back and forth rapidly. Eventually your skill at this will become better and then you'll just feel that one is smaller than the other. If you glance back and forth very rapidly, you'll notice that 2 appears to be smaller in this area than 3. Therefore, 2 must be the smaller angle. So that eliminates answer choice B, and we're left with answer choice C as our final answer. So to review, to beat the angle ranking section on the DAT, you always want to start by going to the answer choices, either the largest angle or the smallest angle. Then you want to compare these two angles and begin eliminating answer choices. If you get stuck because two angles seem too close together, use the technique of the quick glance method where you quickly glance between the two, uh, the two angles at their vertices and then you go on your gut feeling about which one is bigger and which one is smaller. You shouldn't spend more than five minutes on this section because you're more likely to get other questions right if you spend more time on them. You should be averaging about 20 seconds on each of these questions.